Hey guys, how's it going? We are back on the Demon Slayer mod, and not only the Demon Slayer mod, but the Icy No Yaiba server. That's right, we finally launched Season 4, and it is so much fun. There's villages now, there are um, demon villages, slayer villages, a bunch of additions, there's dungeons. We're going to go through all that later in this video. At the start of this video, we're starting out some of the lore behind the server, so you guys are going to want to stay tuned if you want to see what kind of group we might be forming, or, uh, you know, what type of, uh, you know, demon slash demon slayer potentially we might be becoming. So if you guys are new here, drop a like, subscribe to see more, and uh, let's go ahead and hop in. So I obviously am playing as a Kokushibo character. Obviously, I'm not like role playing as Kokushibo, but we do have the ice sword, which is really, really fun to use. This is just a left click. Yeah, that's right. That's just the left click. It's almost like an ability from another sword, uh, but it's just the left click. Let's go ahead and go through the abilities. This one only has like three abilities, but um, you know, I just want to show you guys what we're working with because this ice sword is uh, I am the Hashira of ice, by the way, guys, I am a ice Hashira. I am of the moon village and um, it's pretty much, you know, where I've been, where I've been hanging out. This this place has some awesome trees. We got some nice builds in here. This is, uh, you know, the village that I've been protecting from all the demons, but I want to show you guys how I've been protecting them. So uh, the first ability is basically a bunch of left clicks all at once that do a ton of damage it does a lot of damage and hits over and over again the second ability is basically the same thing except slashes and i believe that this also does give slowness for a second to the enemy so the third ability i actually jump up in the air and slam down basically a cube of ice that does damage to whoever it hits that one is actually pretty cool too but my favorite one is this one the one that's basically like a bunch of left clicks all at once that uh, it does a ton of damage over and over again. So, you know, even though we're from the Moon Village um, and Ahashira, we need to go meet with some uh, some other people from some other villages because some things have been going on and uh, the demons are doing very, very good in this war of demons versus demon slayers. And unfortunately, maybe we might have a way of overcoming that, but it might mean that we may have to leave this village behind so I am going to go meet up with uh, Ahashira from the Flame Village and uh, see, you know, what he has to say about this. We've been kind of meeting back and forth and uh, talking about some ideas, but we're going to go see what he thinks that we should do. And then after we talk to him, we got to go talk to Ahashira from the Wind Village. And uh, we're going to see if we can all come up with an idea to put these demons and slayers somewhat to an end. So this is the Flame Village. Um, this is pretty much who's guarding it. And luckily... The guy I'm meeting with is the Flame Hashira, so he is pretty powerful. You know, he's well known in obviously the Flame Village, and uh, you guys might know him as the name of Kato. Um, I don't know where he is. Kato, where are you at? Uh, over here. I see by the lake in the front. By the lake. Okay, okay. I'm coming. By the bamboo stuff? Yeah. Yeah, right there, there you are. What's up, Kato? So, you are the Flame Hashira of the Flame Village, and, uh, you know, we've been talking back and forth. You know, kind of, kind of funny how you're the flame and uh, I'm the ice. It's almost like opposites, and sometimes, you know, opposites can combine to make a powerful force. You know what I'm saying? Oh no, I'm, I'm following. So, you know, we've got the problem with the demons and demon slayers. Obviously, you know this this war that's been going on for the eternity of life, basically. Uh, you know, we we need to figure out how to put this to an end. I mean, even us being Hashira, the other Hashira seem to not be quite as strong as us and it seems like they've been getting taken out by new upper moons even new lower moons it seems they've been just getting slaughtered by pretty much everybody and uh we need to come up with a way to become stronger than both of those sides do you do you have any ideas um you know i've been thinking a lot about the state of the world and the ever losing battle with the demons i see and i just don't see how we're gonna be able to overcome the demons at this rate they become stronger and stronger by the day and we are humans at the end of the day there's no way we can keep up with them we have to look at other means that's what i've been thinking i mean you know it's it's forbidden obviously to have anything to do with the demons and their powers and their demon arts but it's honestly seeming like the demon arts are becoming stronger than our sword arts and I mean, we're strong with these. Don't get me wrong. We've we've taken out some upper moons. We've taken out a bunch of lower moons, but it's just not enough. It's not enough power for like overtaking anything. And maybe 
what if we found out a way to combine the power of a demon with being a demon slayer like some sort of uh, a hybrid if you will i think that's actually a pretty good lead you have there and i think i know just the guy that wants to hear about this yeah you're thinking the same as i am right the the hashira from the wind village i think it's about time we go talk to him i agree he might uh you know he's a he's a weird guy so he might be knowing a way that we can maybe talk to some demons i've heard stories of him meeting with demons and uh not battling them so maybe he knows something let's let's go see what he has to say let's go stop by the wind village all right i'm right behind you all right kato so we're at uh the wind village it was a far walk it's almost night we got to be careful of demons now but um let's see if we can't find this dude Oh, hello. Hello, uh, Mr. Mr. Uh, Hashira of the Wind Village. How are you doing today? Uh, you can just call me the Gunpowder Hashira. Gunpowder Hashira, okay. I mean, I've never talked to you before, but um, I've heard many, many stories about you and, uh, you know, some things that we might not want to be saying out here in the open. Why don't you, uh, why don't you follow me to the back of the village and, uh, we can go over some things. We're trustworthy people, trust me. We're I'm the I'm the Hashira from the Moon Village. He's a Hashira from the Flame. You know, we're all we're all trustworthy here. Trust me. We're we're not gonna hurry you. Just uh, follow me yeah, back here. I know, real quick. I know who you guys are. I of think course. I know why you guys are here. I mean, as you know, this this uh this war between demons and demon slayers is uh not really going anywhere. After all these decades that it's been going on, it just still seems like nothing is happening of it and um why don't, we, why don't we sit down and eat some uh eat some udon while we talk about this huh let's do it you guys at oh there you are i'm not gonna sit down i'm gonna I'm stand up and eat my udon i'm a standing and eating kind of guy you know it's okay though uh, now that you're here we are talking about uh a couple of different things that we mentioned before um cray we we've noticed that the demons are becoming honestly more powerful than the slayers and even though me and kato as you probably do know we were you know more of the respected hasha we're pretty strong we have a lot of upper moon kills on our hands and um we've just been thinking how can we become more powerful to put an end to this war and honestly there's been there's been word of upper moons that are supposedly going to be coming after me and kato to put an end to us as well and honestly kato i don't know about you but these demons have been getting stronger and stronger, and eventually I feel like we're going to meet our match if we don't do something to improve more. There's definitely more power out there, Cray, and uh, I've definitely heard stories about the experiments and uh, research you've been doing. Correct. Um, uh, this is some news you might need to sit down for, but uh, you'll uh, you'll need to be a, a demon for this. We'll have to be uh, hybrids <laughs> to do this. That's what um, me and Kato were thinking as well. I mean... Right. The only thing is, how do we do that without going, you know, completely like rancid, I guess. Yeah, bloodthirsty and just not, uh, <laughs> you know, not able to go in the sun and everything else. Because obviously we can't protect anything if we can't, you know, remember who we are and go in the sun. Right. So uh, first we'll need to master uh, sun breathing. Um, so okay. I don't know where we can even do that, but we have to do that to even start. Um, okay. And there's an issue that we, uh, this Muzan guy, I think you know him, the leader mm -hmm. of the demons. Of course. Um, he gives out blood to his upper moons, his lower moons. Um, but we have to find somebody that already has that blood. We can't get it directly from him. Okay. So we, do we need to find a demon then? A powerful demon, potentially? Most likely. Most okay. likely an upper moon or a lower moon. Okay. I mean, you know, we've, we've taken out upper moons before, but... I have not heard of any of the top like three or four upper moons recently and they I've heard that they're very powerful but we haven't seen them so not really trying to have a run in with them right now but we can definitely find maybe a lower moon and you know take them out but I guess you know Kato being from the flame village and being the flame Hashira do you know anything about where we can maybe get a sun sword from? I think I know of a place we should probably head there. We'll probably make it there by the sunrise. Okay. So I think it should be about the perfect timing to be there, actually. Perfect. Yeah. Let's uh, let's go ahead and head on over. Cray, do you wanna do you wanna come with us? Yeah, I'll come with you guys. All right. Sounds good. Let's make our way over there. Oh, there's a demon following you, Kato. I get him. Where's he at? Where's he at? Oh, is he gone already? Oh no, he's right I there. Do. Okay. 
Take him out. Oh, the, the gunpowder Hashira. Yeah, I mean, I see. I see why they call you the gunpowder Hashira now. Exactly. All right, yeah, let's, let's get, uh... Let's get on past these, this tree line and get over to where, um, you know, get to where we need to be. Also, I realized that I didn't say it at the start of the video, but I'll probably pin a comment um, with the Discord link as well for those of you who go in the comments and ask how to join. Um, there is going to be a link either, you know, in the comments like I just said, or in the description of the video for the Discord of Icy no Yaiba. And all you got to do is go in there and, um, you know, download the mod pack. And then the IP is in there as well for all you guys. And uh, it's free to play. So, you know, just hop on here and, you know, come play with us. It's been a really, really fun time so far. We're about three or four days into the season. So you still have a lot of time to become, you know, an upper moon, a uh, uh, Hashira, whatever you want to become. You still have a lot of time to be able to do it. So go ahead and join that discord link below. All right, guys, this is it. We're here. Right, this is this right is... outside the flame. Yeah, yeah, it's behind this wall here. Be okay. careful, though. OK, for some oh. reason. There's been a Sun Guard Brigade for the Flame Village for a long time. Okay. And they guard this area. I've never really pushed, even though they allow me to get close. I've never been inside. Never so, been inside. Okay. So I don't know. I don't know what's in there, but the Sun Guard has to be guarding something regarding the sun, right? I mean, that <laughs> makes sense. That would, that would make some sense. Yeah. So wait, I'm, why am I going first? You should go first. This is your homeland. Uh, oh, but you know, like they know me so it kind of be like <laughs> okay yeah. like let's grimy see. if i like <laughs> no that's true that's true let me let me see if i can't see what's inside at least all right yeah so we got a sun guard in here all right we got a couple sun guards all right um yeah, blast them yeah we're, we're gonna have to take these guys out oh they're strong actually okay okay they give you slowness they give you slowness so be ready for that oh these guys are definitely these guys are definitely good oh they they use the sun they use the sun sword Okay, really? maybe that's how we can. Maybe yeah, yeah. Maybe that's we how. We, maybe that's home. how we're gonna be able to take it. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Oh my gosh, I've I've almost got this guy. They're definitely damaging me though, which is not good. These guys are not bad, especially they're damaging a Hashira. That's honestly respectable. These guys can't be weak if they're guarding something important. Something super important, right? Oh, let me switch my breathing. Here we go. Try some of these new abilities. Let's try this one. Let's see how much this one does. I'm taking on. this one one on one. Shoot him in the back, Craig. Oh, there we go. I got him. Come on. Use it. Yes, there we go. Oh, that actually does a lot of damage. Okay. About to finish this one off. Come on. Die, please. Oh my gosh, these guys are actually taking so much to be able to kill. Oh. Okay, there's one. There's one. Let's take this one out. Let's take this one out. Oh, 37 damage. Oh my gosh, this is busted. This is busted. The ice sword is so good. I mean, it makes sense. It's damaging the sun. Oh my gosh, dude, that is busted. Okay. See if we can't hit him with this one. Oh yeah, this guy stands no chance. Make sure that you guys don't die. Oh, we're good. oh there, there's, a, there's a sword on the ground. There's, oh, let me grab this. Oh, it's just it's two sticks. I lied. It's not a sword. I thought they dropped the sun sword. I was like, oh, oh there we go. Okay, too. we got him. We got him. We got him. All right, let's see. Let's see if there's anything else in there. I'm eating up. We might have to fight some more. Don't know what to expect. Okay, no, that's it. That's it. We're good. We're good. We're good. Okay, so there's a chest and there's a book. Um, I don't know if opening the chest first is the best idea. Maybe we it's should read. Best. Yeah. Okay, so the sun was the beginning and the start of life for all. All breathing comes from it. It is a father and mother. That's true. I forgot that all breathing is originating from sun breathing. But beware to walk in the dark and sun. Wait, but beware to walk in the dark and sun is a sin itself. And the power. Wait, and all the power has a limit and and a cost. OK, so that's saying. Beware to walk in the dark in the sun because all power has a limit and a cost. So this is going to. We're going to basically be having something bad happen to us eventually if we do do this. You know what I mean? Like every everything good comes with something bad is basically what it's telling us. If we if we sit still and let the demons continue what they're doing, it's going to happen regardless anyway. I'm down That's true. to cause whatever it is. That's true. So why don't we why don't we open this up and see what's in it? Okay, we got three sun swords. 
So one for each of us. It's almost like this is like a prophecy, dude. It's almost like it's like meant to be. What do that, we do with them? Um, well now, technically, once we become a demon, correct me if I'm wrong, Cray, but you were saying that these make it so that we can be out in the sun. And that's kind of what this book was saying too. Beware to walk in the dark and sun. So we should, once we drink some demon blood or get demon blood from, you know, a lower moon, we should be able to even go out in the sun, right? Correct. Okay. Well, I That's guess. So I guess yeah. now it's just demon hunting time. True. We need to find a lower moon. I mean, I'm feeling pretty good, but I don't want to risk the upper moons because they're all new since the last time we fought them, obviously, because we killed the old ones. And uh, I've heard that the new ones are very very strong so why don't we uh why don't we go find a demon and um you know you know what we got to do to him all right do sounds it. good i have my knife all right <laughs> let's, let's find someone so uh i figured what better place to look for you know a lower moon than you know the demon hideout itself i would say that the upper moons wouldn't really be here they're probably out doing menacing things like the upper demons be doing um, so why don't we go in here and see if we can't find someone in here, take them out, you know? Do we, have to be, we have to be careful here, this is really... I mean, yeah, it's risky, but but we're Hashira, like, I'm not that scared, you know? Yeah, we're gonna yeah, be... Those pants. We're gonna no. be really messed up if Muzin comes, though. That's true, that's true. Let's see. I'm not seeing anybody yet, do you guys see anyone? No, I don't. I don't see anyone. There's mm. tower. Oh, oh, there's a person right here. Wait, there's oh. a demon up there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's okay. That's definitely that's definitely a moon. Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah. They have 292 health. That's that's definitely a moon. Do what we do we do? Moon that is. Um. No. No. That could be that could be an upper moon. It we could don't really be. Know. Yeah, we got to be careful. We got to be careful. Let's uh. Yeah, Cray. I was gonna say, why don't you try to do some damage before we go up there? Um. Yeah. Kato, do you have your mark? Yeah, I do. We're gonna be needing that. Let's All uh, right. let's see if we can't get up in here. And uh, I'm gonna try to hit them off of the top. See if I can't. No, I okay. Uh, oh god, this this is not gonna be good. I'm gonna try to hit them out. I'm gonna try to hit them out, but oh no, they I'm hit me down. I'm yeah, yeah. we're good. We're good. They're not super strong. They haven't really damaged me yet. Oh, there goes some damage. There goes some damage. What are what are they using? Rui art? Yeah. Yeah, it looks okay, like yeah, it. we got to be careful with that. That can that can take us out very oh, fast. I mean, this could a special attack they have. Yeah, I know there could be this could be an upper moon. Honest. Oh, well, no, it's it's not an upper moon. In fact, it, it's definitely not an upper moon. But th <laughs> they are gone. What did you do to her? I uh, I don't know. I guess Ice Sword is just that good. It makes sense. Oh. We we've taken out so many demons. That definitely was. Uh, that definitely was not that definitely was not an upper moon. That was probably like a new lower lower six even. What well, the they're not lower six anymore. What were they guarding yeah, up here? Well that was easy. It had that to was be really lower. easy. Yeah, definitely a new lower. We've been killing lowers here, like every day, so I mean, you know. That's that's kinda sad. I was a little oh. uh excited. I was too, but hey, I mean we got the blood. Oh, okay. Yeah. That <laughs> I was gonna go. say that. we definitely have the blood, so why don't we Three, six. Yeah, why don't we each take three of these rows? And then maybe we should do this here as well so that the ritual is like correct, maybe. This is like this is definitely a demon a demon spot, you know what I mean? Well why don't, why don't we drink up? Oh yeah. Cheers. It went <laughs> cheers, I guess. It worked. I am now a demon. Okay. Okay, well we're gonna drink all of this and then um you know, we will let you guys know however much health we have when this is all over. It seems like we absolutely demolished whatever type of demon that was. And, uh, you know, we got to be careful, though, because we can lose blood um, from battles. We can lose blood during anything. So, you know, we got to make sure that we're careful on that. And, um, you know, hopefully, hopefully not grab attention of Muzan or anyone like that while we're here. Hey, uh, guys, I've got eight left on my third stack, and I'm honestly starting to feel uh, a little weird. I don't want to overdo this and be overcome by the demon blood, so I'm going to drink the rest of this stack, and then I say that we uh, 
we start harnessing our demon powers because I'm not uh, I'm not feeling too normal right now. I think that's going to be the max of what I want to go towards, at least right now. Do I? Yeah, I, I look the same. That's that's good, I guess. Um, how much health does it say that I have? Uh, you have 156. OK, you've got 156 as well. Kato, are you uh, are you feeling all right? You're almost to where we're at. Really? Yeah, you're at 144. Are you feeling oh, good? Okay. I feel like I could drink a little bit more. That's but... exactly what I did. I drank three stacks. 152, 156. There you go. Oh, Are you feeling? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. It was it was like right there, you know? Yeah, we should probably stop. Yeah. So now, yeah, the, now the real test is the sun sword. Are we going to be able to survive the day? Um, Now... I'm thinking that we're probably going to want to activate the Hinakami Kagura. I activated it. And now technically, Cray? Yeah, challenge complete. Okay, there we go. Overcome sunlight. Okay, so it did work, Cray. Yeah. It worked. Good. Okay, so now we should be able to go outside. Oh my gosh, I am fast. Guys. Oh my no, gosh. Wow. What? <laughs> This is how we're dying to demons so easily. What the heck? This is insane. Are crazy. Oh my gosh. Bro, look at these spiders. Dead. Oh my gosh. We are. We we gotta be busted. We gotta be busted. I'm kind of scared to go outside by myself, honestly. I think. Kato! Kato! Oh no. We're good. Are you taking. Oh no, you took damage from the blocks. Okay, we're good. I was gonna say, we gotta make sure that we have it. But oh my gosh, this is definitely what we need. To be able to overcome the demons. I mean, if we have the speed like this, this is just crazy. I mean, okay. So now that we have this buff, right? We've drank some blood. We've become a demon. We've become, obviously, like some sort of hybrid. This is kind of eerie. It started raining right when we we're talking about this. I was going to say, obviously, just drinking this blood. Hey, come down, guys. Come down. <laughs> drinking this blood alone is not going to be enough. I mean, we all have sun swords, which is obviously... This sword is really good. It's a great sword, but the thing is, um, just having this is not going to be good enough alone. We're going to need to master some blood demon arts. We're going to need to master the sun swords as well. This is Guys, sick. Look at my abilities now. Oh, they're all blue flame. Oh, is that your regular flame sword? Yes, this is my Hashira sword. It's become blue flames. Oh my gosh, that is awesome. You're OP. <laughs> oh my gosh, wait, did my mine didn't change at all, I don't think. Well, that is oh. so cool though. That's awesome. I've, I've heard of this. Really? Yeah, some when a lightning Hashira did it, their uh lightning turned black. Ooh, that's so cool. Okay. Well, well that's um, really that's awesome. I'll, I'll tell y'all uh something happened with me too. What happened? Oh. What? That's not a pistol anymore, is it? It's definitely not a pistol anymore. Uh, okay. Oh yeah, that, bro, that is crazy. I wonder why. I'm my all my stuff is the same. Maybe maybe it's gonna take a little bit longer for me to get used to it or something. Since I'm I was sure you, like, I'm sure you're awaking the ice demon powers. Yeah, there's gotta be something. There's gotta be something. But you probably want to talk to Doma, the ice the ice demon leader. That's true. That's true. Maybe combining this with Doma would definitely be worth it. I mean, we've got a master blood demon arts and not only that, but I'm thinking Kato, I don't know if you'll agree with me, but you know, um, all the Hashiras have their own specialties and some of them don't like using them even. Why don't we try to learn in one way or another, every single breathing style? I say we uh, take those swords off the Hashira's hands. Yeah, they I don't mean, think they need them anymore. Exactly. I think that we're going to be able to form a whole hybrid group. Honestly, at this point, this is just the start. I mean, we can recruit people. We need a base. We need a base of operations. We need to get working on that. Um, you know, standing out here right outside the demon HQ is probably not the best idea for us to be out at. But you know, it, it is what it is for right now. I'm feeling pretty all right with our new powers. Um, but we need to, for one, master some blood demon arts. I need to talk to Doma or kill Doma, one or the other, probably kill him. 
Um, and then we need to uh, we need to also learn new uh, new breathing styles. So I'm feeling pretty good right now. Um, a lot happened in this episode, guys. We have formed the first ever hybrid group on Icy No Yaiba. So this is the start of something that is going to be crazy. And eventually, um, you guys are going to be able to become one of the members of this. If you guys remember in Icy Ramen, we also got players as part of the Akatsuki. Gonna be kind of the same thing on this. So if we notice you and we want you guys to be able to become super, super OP, uh, you obviously have to become um, a Slayer and a Demon. So there's gonna be some ways that we have to be able to do it correctly. But if you're a strong Demon or you're a strong Slayer, there is a way that you'll be able to become um, a, you know, a Hashira Demon hybrid which, um, you know, we'll go into more depth in future videos. It's not going to be as simple as just being good. There's going to be some requirements. So if you guys like this and are hyped for some more Icy no Yaba and Demon Slayer videos, make sure you drop a like and subscribe so that we know you guys are liking it. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.